it's about time that I brought you the November Dead Snowball update. Ashley from Ash Cash Budget here. If you're new to this channel, I am currently following the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I am on baby step number two, paying off about $42,000 in debt. I am extremely, extremely late with this. Yes, yes, it is like the third week of November already. I did take the numbers on the 1st of November. One, I was really burnt out from Vlogtober and I was trying to finish all that stuff. Two, shortly after that, I got sick, and I thought it was a little bit bad. You know, I spent a, a couple days recovering over that. But then a week later, I got even sicker. I got a worse cold than the first time around, and I was out. It's been like a week. I'm still barely able to breathe correctly. I am on the mend, though, so no worries. Don't you worry about me. I am doing much better. It's taken over a week of recovery for that one to go away, and I had work, and things have just been crazy hectic. I'm so sorry that I am incredibly late on this, but hey, you're gonna get another one relatively soon for December, as long as I keep up now that I'm trying to catch up. I don't know which one's gonna come out first, but I have this and I have an awesome unboxing for you guys of a planner that I got. I can't wait to show you guys, but I was supposed to get that done a long time ago, so that one might have come out before this. It's just sick, horrible, couldn't do anything at all. Sat and binged watch Sabrina the Netflix series got through the first season, but that was all I could do. All I could do was like watch a TV show. I couldn't even read or anything like that because I just could not concentrate, could not talk. I slept half of the time. Anyways, let's move on to what this video is about. November, debt snowball update. These numbers, like I said, I took them on the 1st of November. So this is when I always pull numbers is on the 1st of the month. Here is my debt snowball list. This is my debt graveyard down here. These are the six consumer debts that I have already paid off. And my seventh debt is my student loans, which I have now broken up into the seven individual loans, which is why I have 7A through 7G. In this column here, the dates, that is just when I took those loans out. So it helps me distinguish which one is which. As you see here, I have paid off five of the seven student loans. This column is the minimum payments for each loan. Even though it all goes to the same place, I pay one large minimum payment, but each loan has its own direct minimum payment that splits off of that one payment that I make. So as I was paying them off, these minimum payments got marked off and my overall minimum payment has gone down. I do like to round it up to the nearest $5 though because that is just how I am. So. The minimums of the last two come out to 50, 31, but I round it up to 55. I'm able to add, you know, a couple more dollars to each loan, and so it just adds it to the minimums that it pays to those loans each month. This is my debt snowball column over here where I put any extra money towards my debt snowball towards the lowest loan. And then of course we go into some more nerd numbers down here. So we'll get to that. I'm going to tell you real quick, this month was crazy because it was from October. One, I spent a lot of time on Vlogtober. So I did not do many side hustles, but also I ended up being like double busy than I was expecting from work. So I was really busy with work as well as Vlogtober. So Side hustle wise, I brought in $498.42. That's actually, I finally got paid from YouTube again. It's been like four months, I think, because you have to reach a threshold of $100 to get paid by YouTube. I finally reached that. It was $106.59. Thanks to you all for watching the ads and everything with my videos. And then the other $391.83 was Instacart. I didn't do any DoorDash or Postmates for the month. 500 bucks, that's not too bad though, considering just how busy I was. And then I budgeted in for Vlogtober. I was gonna try 200, didn't hit that. I spent $280.63 on Vlogtober. So that was a little bit of an extra expense. But then my car, my car, yet again, needed some more work and I had to spend $1,179.51 on my car. 
$250 was already in the car maintenance sinking fund, so it was an extra $930 per month. So if you consider the $930 plus the $280 for Vlogtober, that's an extra like $1,200 uh, paid towards other things outside of this debt snowball. So you got to kind of consider that too. Although I still think I did pretty well on the snowball amount considering that, considering the low side hustles, but I did have three paychecks for this month for my job because every like six months or so I get a third paycheck as I am paid every two weeks. So that's just how it lands sometimes. For my second to last student loan, I was able to put an additional $1,289.76 towards that, which brought the total down to $1,294.84. Guys, I really, really, really hope I can knock that out in November. That would be awesome. So really, almost $1,300 plus the other $1,200 I spent on other things like my car and Vlogtober, it's actually a pretty good snowball amount. The month before I did $1,462, so really I don't, I don't think it's too bad. Of course, I wish it would have been better considering it was a three paycheck month and all that, but I gotta consider the other things I was able to do like take care of my car, which is very important to me. And then my last student loan is down to $6,926.42 because it does go down a little bit with the minimum payment. That brings my total down to $8,221.26. The total actual paid, which is my snowball amount plus the $55 minimum payment, was $1,344.76. Overall, I had to change this from 19 to 17. Apparently, I've been put in the wrong year. I started in 2017. The total actual paid over my whole debt-free journey so far is $39,185.97. The total down for the month because of interest and everything, $1,316.03, which overall for the whole debt journey is $34,067.03. That means I lost to interest this month $28.73. Huge difference from the over $200 I used to spend, but over my whole journey, I have lost to interest $5,118.94. I'm getting so close to not giving anybody my interest money anymore. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied. I'm still so happy that I am under $10,000. Like, it is so unreal that I am getting so close to the finish line. I'm so excited. Hopefully I can kick it up in the next couple months. October was a little slower than I wanted, but I had a blast with Vlogtober, got my car taken care of, got some things done with that. You know, I'm overall, I'm really proud of myself and I really, really hope I can knock out that second to last loan in November. How awesome would that be? So couple weeks, we'll see how I did. I will of course put the links up above to subscribe and another video that YouTube will suggest for you guys and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.